All right, so I'm out in my car. It's time to do a flashing. I'm gonna attempt a new ethanol bin for the car. So those of you who watched old movies of mine, you know I'm using the combi adapter from John C. I still haven't got around making a movie about this adapter, but I guess that's on my to-do list. So here's the adapter in a 3D printed case that I also bought from the forums. So I'm inserting the diagnostic port connector here, and this only works because I have made a connection with the PBUS system. That's also one of my videos, however this only works if you have ESP, which I do. So again, my car is a 2002 Saab 95 Arrow with lots of options on it. Sorry about that. Okay, so everything is inserted. I can see the LEDs here lighting up on the combi adapter. It's a bit hard to show on camera though. I also need the key, of course. Just inserting it, not turning it. Okay, I think we can start. So try on a can flasher. I'm turning the ignition to on. I'm waiting a few seconds. You can hear the fan starting. And now we turn it off. Now we wait 15 to 20 seconds. Okay, now we go. Start flashing. So this will take about a minute or so. And you want to make sure that your car battery is fully charged. You might even want to attach a charger. You also want to make sure that your laptop doesn't die. So that the battery is fully charged too. Or you bring a charger for this one. Because you don't want anything to break the connection. If your connection is broken mid-flash you will have a bit of trouble because you'll need to take out the box and do <coughs> and do a flashing via the BDM, the background debugging mode. I have also a video on that if you need it. So I guess many of you will be asking, oh, how do I convert my arrow to a biopower, which means uh, E85? And I'm not going to make a video about that. It doesn't really fit the video format. It's too many caveats too many risks so you'll have to read up on this yourself it really doesn't fit the video format to cram all the information necessary okay that was quick took 48 seconds to flash i can now close the flashing program and the next thing we have to do is to reset the ecu i'll just put in my computer to sleep pull out the adapter so i'm opening the fuse fuse box and we'll have to pull fuse number 17. Always forget which one it is. 17 is this one. And you can hear a small click from the dashboard. Wait five seconds. And then push the fuse back in. And the fuse box. Okay, now I'm gonna start the car. And we have startup. I guess it's really warm today. I had to have the door open to be able to stand the heat. I'm now inserting my ELM327 OBD2 adapter, which I'll connect to the phone. So I'm using the standard Android app called Torque Pro, but I'm also gonna use the open SID information. So I'm starting that one. That's interesting, I don't seem to have SID information. I must have missed it while flashing. Never mind, let's try this again. Well, it seems I'm not getting open SID to work with this binary. I've even tried flashing again, but now I've asked on the forums and see if anyone replies to me. So instead of connecting my combi adapter to the car again, 
and I'm using t 7 suit as a real-time display for real-time logging. Maybe we'll see some numbers pop up here. So I'm using the laptop instead of the SID. So let's go for a test drive. So soon we'll see a uh, secondary adapt message pop up on the SID. I've enabled all the start screens and all the adaptation messages to pop up here on the, on the display. So soon I'll see sort of the first uh, attempt from the car to adapt to the fuel. But what I really want to see is the long-term adaptation and see how that fares. Because the first, drives, the first time I tried to convert this car to biopower, uh, I had a problem with uh, the adaptation going to minus 7%. So that means it removes 7% of all the fuel. And I don't really like that. In the stock binary everything works as it should. So there really is no problem with the hardware. That must have been something with the software. So currently I'm running 95 octane gasoline. There's no ethanol in the tank. But I want to have a car that's able to run ethanol. Especially now that the car has been converted hardware-wise. Hardware I have the new fuel pump. You remember the video where we stood just outside here at the uh, garage in the November weekend. Matthias and I did a fuel pump job on this car since the old one broke due to, well, you guessed it, E85. So the car feels good. I'm now going up to 50 kilometers an hour. Everything feels as it should, but I really would like to have the open SID information. It's hard to uh, look on the laptop display when I'm driving. So this is the test drive I usually take. It's good because it's uh, a long, slight uphill, which the car likes for adaptation purposes. It makes it adapt faster. If you just go normal city driving, the car won't have to do much work and adaptation will take longer. And again, we're in my hometown of Jönköping here in Sweden. It's a beautiful sunny day, warm outside, but it's uh, quite a few clouds coming up. So we might have some thunderstorms and rain later today. Okay, so now we have second adapt. Doesn't tell you very much because it's just the ethanol content it shows. And that's at 0% because we're running on 95 octane. Yes, I know, I should run 98 octane. This is an arrow, but... It's a daily driver and I still haven't had the uh, inclination to try 98. Okay, I'm behind the slow forward focus, which... Oh, luckily it turns now, so now I'll be able to put some boost to the car. Okay, so third gear, now we're leaving the city and have higher top speed. Let's try this. Yeah. So that feels pretty good. I didn't push it too hard. Feels like normal. I'd love to have that SID information. I wonder why that happens. I won't be able to see the long-term adaptation without open SID. That sucks. Yeah, it's a beautiful day today. Super hot. Really warm outside. It was cooking in the car when I came out to do the flashing. So I really had to have the car door open. I also hope you can hear me well. I'm trying out the new camera and microphone setup with the lav mic here. Just under my chin. Hopefully this will pick up more of my voice than the card noise. And this test drive ends with this roundabout, which means I can easily turn around and go back down. Nice little climb here, not really Pike's Peak, but still something to test your car on. Yeah. Turbo kicks in nicely, just where it usually does. So this is sort of a stock binary in terms of performance. The only change I'm doing now is converting to E85, or I should say, BioPower. E85 is 
means uh, just E85 but bigger power is the sub term for any mixture of gasoline and E85. So for the open SID I've tried everything I can remember. Uh, sometimes if you're open temp or sorry outside temperature sensor isn't working you might have trouble getting open SID to show up. This is not a problem here though. Open uh, outside temperature sensor works fine. I've also tried applying the brake pedal and starting SID at the same time. No game there either. So I'm currently out of ideas and googling didn't help so let's see if the experts at the Trionic tuning forum know any well, they know better than I do, of course, but uh, let's see if they have any ideas I can try. Yeah, it's so much nicer to drive now that the car has been running for a few minutes and the AC has cooled down the temperature because it was really warm in here. I'm gonna park now and then I'll check the laptop to see any numbers. Then I'll plug in the ELM 327 to check the long-term fuel trim if it has come up yet. But then I have to go inside, so uh, I have to wait for the answers from the forum. So thanks for joining me on this little flashing and test drive. Work in progress as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.